Good morning. It's going to be such a great show today. Ryan's out this week. Today, our guest host is Jacob Martin from the Indianapolis Colts. Let's give it up for Jacob, everybody. Yeah. Here. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me back. I yes. appreciate it. Yes, I know you got to shadow a little bit before. I would love for everybody out there to get to know you a little bit. Let's talk about your background. Oh, uh, I'm pretty simple, you know. Uh, Jacob Martin, people call me Jake. Uh, number 92 on the field, number one in your heart. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you had to do it. <laughs> I had, had to. to. I had yeah. to. Um, you know, but I'm one of six kids, come from uh, a beautiful family, was born in Houston, Texas, raised in Denver, Colorado. Um, I've kind of moved all over the place from Philly to Seattle, back to Houston to Denver, um, and now here in Annapolis, you know, so I'm excited to be here. Well, we're excited to have you here. Amazing to have you guest co-hosting today. It's going to be such a good show. How are you feeling about everything you're seeing? I'm excited. You know, it's a, it's a lot of moving parts, a lot of moving pieces, you know, some great live music, some great things coming up. I'm just really excited to get after the show. Yeah, we do have a little bit of everything. We have live music from the Living Proof Band here to sing some Beyonce for us today. Love Can't to hear wait it. for that. Yes. <laughs> We've got cooking with Chef Joseph Guerra here. He's going to be teaching us something you can make at home. It's so great. Look at that setup over there. It looks awesome. And we've got artists here, Boxy Artists and Paulina from Pattern Magazine, and so much more. That's just a little sampling. So it's time to get right into it. Now, I was telling Jacob this, this is a cheesy thing we do, and I don't know why we started it, but we do say it in unison. So would you like to say this next thing in unison with me? Yeah, most definitely. All right, here we go. So we always like to start things off on, on a good note. note. <laughs> See, you nailed it. First try. Awesome. <laughs> don't ask me why that started. All right, so today's on a good note. It is all about Pattern Magazine's event coming up. We're going to head over this way to Paulina, the co-founder of Pattern and Box, the artist. Welcome Hello. back. How are Thanks you? For having us. Well, we're excited to have you here. Can you tell us about the event coming up, Paulina? Okay. Indiana's first Creative Economy Summit. We are getting together stakeholders from around the state and getting them excited about all the fantastic creative things happening around Indiana. Amazing. Yeah. Now, Box is one of the talented artists you're going to have there. And we've had you on the show before. It's so good to yes, have you back it's here. great to be back. Tell us about your style a little bit, what we're seeing here. Yes, yeah, so I practice expressionistic portraiture. And it's a duration um, of combining just my two different elements, uh, acrylic painting as well as digital art. So I got into digital art during the pandemic when stores were closed, we couldn't buy supplies, and just merging those two forms and creating expressions of portraits and faces. I love faces, so. Isn't it gorgeous? That's super cool. Yeah, these cool, are right? super cool. Yeah. About how long does it take you to, to paint one of these? Uh, I, one and done. I start a day, and my goal is to have it done that day. So if it takes 24 hours, I'm working 24 hours. Oh, wow. That is incredible. Yeah, that is. It would take me a lifetime to even attempt something <laughs> like this, so I can tell just your background and how talented you are. People can see you at this event. What are you most looking forward to? I'm just looking forward to the excitement that's stimulated around the creative economy, and, and especially when it comes to the arts, and just the underrepresented um, um, aspect when we think of creative entrepreneurship and stimulating the cre creative economy, the arts contributes to a large portion of that. So just putting the highlight on that and putting focus on that is just really critical and crucial just for working artists, you know, knowing that this is a pathway. Yeah. And Box is one of our creative entrepreneurs. Uh, it's a residency that's at the Stutz where the pattern office is. And so yes. the whole idea is to get the folks thinking about artists like Box as entrepreneurs and business owners and not just as you know, people who paint or, you know, play on their computer right. or whatever the case may be. Hobbyists. Exactly. Hobbyists, exactly. <laughs> yes, well, that is what's so great about Pattern, is you're always giving a lot of talented artists a platform and showing people so many unique things in our community. For anybody who's not familiar with the magazine, how can they check it out? PatternIndy.com, just hit magazine and subscribe. We'll love subscribers. And the next issue is going to be released the same day as the summit because we're crazy. We like to just pack the day out. <laughs> we are too. We yes, yes. <laughs> we October 27th. Yeah. So, yeah. You might as well. That's amazing. So, patternindy.com is the website. That's when you can check out all the details for that upcoming event. And then, Box, how can we follow along with you? You can connect with me on all social media platforms, Box the Artist, B-O-X-X the Artist, all platforms. Amazing. Thank you both so much. Thanks we got for having social handle there. Thank you. And just absolutely gorgeous artwork. Thank you. It's beautiful to see. 
Well, it's time now to switch gears for some food. We're going to head over this way with Chef Joseph Guerra. So Chef Guerra is not only known for his delicious recipes, but specifically those that are autoimmune friendly and safe. How are you? Good. Really nice to see you guys. Thanks for having yes. me on today. Sorry, I have gloves on, so I can't shake hands right now. Oh, yeah, it's official <laughs> chef mode. How are you is. feeling about this, Jacob? I feel great. It smells Good. amazing in here. Well, yeah. thanks. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. yeah. So what are you making for us? Well, I'm going to do two things for you this morning. Um, I'm doing a gluten-free chicken parmesan, and we're going to do that semi-live. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I'm going to show you how to do the chicken, and then I'm going to do doing a chicken waffles as well because it's breakfast time. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. That awesome. sounds good to that me. Sounds great. All right, so walk us through okay, this. Okay, so this is a chicken breast. Now most chicken parm uh, is pretty heavily sauced and it's you know it takes forever. But yeah. you may have heard people say this, you know, make an escalop. Well that's what this is. You just want to take the chicken and open it up like a book, right? Like that. Oh nice. So good. it gets nice and thin, it's even because chicken breast doesn't cook even. Right. True. So, yes. And this is a way also with your chicken breasts at home, if you want to get it to cook evenly and stay juicy, do this. All right. Nice. And okay, we, that's a good tip. Yeah. And we change our gloves and we're gonna season it. And this is my dust mix. This is available on my website. Oh, Shameless nice. plug. Yeah, go ahead. Well, you have to. So we can get this seasoning on your website? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I know you're known for your seasoning. Yeah, seasoning and barbecue sauces primarily, but uh, also tomato sauce, which I have for you today. Oh, that's awesome. No, um, I love a good barbecue sauce. Now. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And you're from what, Houston? From Houston, yeah. Wow. All right, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so we've seasoned our chicken. Now, normally with something like this, you'd do it the night before or, yeah. you know, a couple hours ahead of time. And it's called dry brining. It's more like curing the meat so it stays juicy, right? But we don't have time to do that today. So, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He gets it. He's like, all right, we don't have time to waste. But all right, so we're going to take that and we're going to season it. And we notice I'm not flouring this first. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, if you've ever been to New Orleans, the way they do fried chicken basically is they put the egg on and then they bread it after that. And it's almost like velveting, yeah. uh, which is a hmm. technique that they do in uh, Chinese food and you know, Creole cooking. So this is something that uh, I've learned to do here. We're just going to go right into our seasoned breadcrumbs. All right. Oh, look at that. Just like that. Now I'm using tongs here so I don't have to get my, my hands dirty. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. All right. And now we just go straight in over here. Oh, that's our, what's smelling oh, yeah. so good. Into our hot there we go. And that's it. That's really, really easy. That's all you need to do to do breaded chicken. It's the easiest thing in the world, and I, people get weirded, weirded out by it. Yeah. Simple. That was simple. Yeah. Well, you made it look simple. I don't know if you can recreate that. <laughs> now nah, you'll be fine. Um, now, through the magic of television, I have one that's already been finished. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, look at that. Yeah, look at that. How magical is that? Except Fresh I can't get... and ready to go. Well, well yeah. except I can't get that out of there. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, I can... right. Is it hot? No, nah, it's not too hot. I was going to say, don't worry. We can find something. Oh, no, I got it. That's... It's kind of stuck in there, but... I, I got it. <laughs> kind of stuck. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, so... Okay, we got it. Here's got our it. chicken part, right? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, my hands only go up to 400. <laughs> to 450, I did so. not want to burn your hands. <laughs> okay. I've done worse. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this uh, so looks Jillian, awesome. Uh, yes. If you'd like to make our salad here. I would love so to. So plate that. So this is just parsley and basil mixed together. Um, I'm going to show you how they dress a salad in Italy. Oh, okay. Okay. So basically, what you want to do is take your olive oil. I love okay. it. Oh, am I putting this yep. in there? I just, it in there? I just started going for it and I was like, wait, I need directions. Okay, yep. here we go. That's it. All right. Now, take a couple of these. These are called melted onions. Ooh. These are one of my signature items. And grilled lemons. Oh, and you're gonna I throw, love that. Yeah, you want to take one of those so and separate take the it. Melted onions. Yeah. Separate it? Separate it. Okay, we're getting messy here. All we right, are. I love There's there. gloves there, Jillian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just saw that. <laughs> my bad. I'd be a little smart ass. Well, I guess I have cold dibs on the salad. <laughs> my hands are have touched it, my bad. <laughs> All right, right, let me put these on for you. That's fine. So we got the grilled lemon, we've got the grilled onion. Mm -hmm. We've got some olive oil. And then are the rest of our dressing, you know when you make vinaigrettes at home, you typically will use a, you know, you use a pre-bottled mix. Well, it's just yeah. acid and fat, that's all it is. So our acid here is gonna be this lemon. This is a seedless Sorrento lemon, this is from Italy. You can get these in the United States. They're very, very sweet. Okay. Um, so unlike regular, like a Meyer lemon or something you get in the store, and they don't nice. have any seeds. How sweet are we talking? Like if I were to lick that, <laughs> you want to try it? <laughs> do it, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I feel like it's a dare now, yeah. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you heard it here first from Jacob Martin. Okay. And then we're just going to go ahead and squeeze this half a lemon in there. Okay, perfect. Thank squeeze you. Squeeze it with all your might. Uh, this might have been better suited for Jacob. Yeah. He's probably got stronger <laughs> hands than I do. Okay, here we go. Yeah. That's fine. And then, Jacob, I'm going to have you help me out here, too. You can see these beautiful gluten-free waffles that I have pre-made here, because oh, wow. I did them last night. Yummy. Um, and there is the finished chicken breast right there. Okay. Jacob, if you'd like to grab that with these nice little tiny tongs. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> we'll expect right. you to plate it. 
we're going to go right on top of these waffles. All right. And actually, you know what I want? Yeah. I'm going to cut that first. Nice. That bad one there. there you go, bud. Just right on top of here. This is looking just like a pro chef okay. in right here. Now this is some honey. Oh, wow. Drizzle that over top. And then we're going to take some Carolina Red Barbecue Sauce. Again, shameless plug. Oh, you have to. <laughs> Put it over top of there. Why not? People need to check out your sauces. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at that drizzle. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Look at that. The technique. All right. Yeah. yeah. Hey. It's all about risk control. All around, man. You can be on my line anytime, man. <laughs> all right, so what do we have here? It's uh, Western Carolina Red Barbecue Sauce. Uh, it's the F&B Magazine Editor's Choice Barbecue Sauce for okay. the month of June. Um, and it is uh, a traditional uh, vinegar uh, and tomato-based Western Carolina sauce from uh, Winston-Salem area. Awesome. Uh, that's where I learned to make barbecue. So, okay. nice. <laughs> congratulations awesome. on that recognition for the sauce. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that. That and is we're incredible. We're just going to plate our chicken parm here while we're at it Ooh. on this nice little wooden plate. And chef, what are you thinking? Are you thinking a drizzle as well? Yeah. All right. Beautiful. Look at that. Jacob, you are a natural at that. Damn, dude. You know, Look at this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Somebody's watching Food Network. Look at that. Okay. That is fantastic. Okay. That's awesome. Good job, man. Fantastic. And now we have our chicken parm right here. Now we're going to finish the garnishing. Usually with garnishing a chicken parm, you don't see yeah. it nice and pretty. We're going to take a nice big leaf of basil here and just rip it. Oh, that's okay. fresh. Right. I love that. Nice fresh basil here. Um, all produce and everything here is courtesy of Giant Eagle, by the way. Oh, love Giant Eagle. Yeah. Awesome. Um, they are a Pittsburgh-based company, which is where I am from. Amazing. Awesome. All right. And then we're going to take our, this is Reggiana Parmigiana from Italy, and we're going to take our nice little marinara sauce and just get a nice little drizzle over top there. Oh, wow. And there is our gluten-free chicken parm and our gluten-free chicken and waffles. Oh, oh my <laughs> That looks great. This is awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Where can people follow along with you and your recipes? Um, we have, I have a, a website, keystoneq.com, uh, and also an Instagram, FRSC with love, uh, and my YouTube channel, From Scratch with Love, as well. Amazing. And all autoimmune friendly. All autoimmune friendly. Yes. I, I myself have celiac disease and ulcerative colitis, so like I have to cook very, I have to be very aware of my surroundings. And you'll notice the way we did everything today, nothing touched each other. Yes, yeah, that's right. very yeah, important. So. That is very important. Cross-contamination well, is a big issue. Well, except for my hands. Well, except for that. <laughs> <laughs> she's clean. She's good. <laughs> I'll take the salad since I touched this. And then, Jacob, I want you to enjoy the fruits of your labor here. So this will be yours. Okay. So you can have a little bite All as right, he's doing you that. You can cut that with a fork. Oh, oh yeah. We'll tease what's <laughs> coming up next. enough. I am so excited. We'll start with this waffle here. Yeah, yeah get in here. Still and that's just come. white rice flour, brown rice flour. Uh, some brown sugar, some white sugar. That's a good waffle. You like it? Oh, <laughs> that's a great I bet waffle. it's good. Thanks, ma'am. Well, we've got Creations by Liv here, talking about handmade items, on-trend jewelry, clothing, and so much more when we come back. This is amazing, by the way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this barbecue sauce mm. is legit. Let me Thank tell you. Thank you so this much. This is to die for. Thank yeah. you so much. This is so good. That's amazing. Oh, my goodness.